are a number of things you can use for high quality, high value treats for your dogs. I prefer single ingredient only. One of my favorites is Prime Bites. They make single ingredient freeze dried chicken, freeze dried liver, and the dog's favorite seems to be the freeze dried ocean whitefish. Now something that my dogs like even more than the freeze dried meats is freshly cooked meat. Some of you may be into raw feeding and that works as well, but if you do plan to feed raw, make sure you do plenty of research, make sure you freeze beforehand. I buy different types of meat for my dogs, fish, chicken, turkey, etc. This is beef that was made for beef stew that I just cooked in the skillet and I like to slice it in very small chunks for training. I like to chop up quite a bit and then freeze it. That way I can take it on the roll while it thaws out. Or even if it's not thawed out, my dogs don't mind eating it while it's frozen. And once you have it all chopped up, you can spread it out and then put the whole tray into your freezer so that way it freezes individually and it doesn't bunch up when it's frozen. I don't have a lot of room in my freezer, so I use these handy Ziploc bags and I lay the bag flat and I make sure the meat is spread out so it's not bunched up and then I lay the bags flat in my freezer and I stack them. And this is how I stack them in my freezer. As you can see there are three bags here full of meat. Some dogs love fruits and veggies. My dogs love chickpeas or gobanzo beans. I always try to get the kind that have no salt. I prefer the dried kind because they have nothing added. You have to soak it and then cook it for a couple of hours for it to be soft. Or you could try freeze dried fruits and vegetables, just make sure it's single ingredient only. You can also chop up fresh veggies such as carrots. These are what the fish bites look like. As you can see it's way too big to give as a training treat. You want it to be in tiny portions. I usually just break these up with my hand into small pieces and I save the leftover residue for something later. A friend of mine likes to cut these with a razor blade to be more precise. I've tried cutting these with a knife and they just powder really bad. The liver slice is a little easier, but you don't want to overdo it with the liver because it can cause diarrhea.